what's up y'all it's your boy Kenneth Scott and I just finished a session where it was good sweating having a good time in the sun here at the skate park got it all to myself always like subscribe ring the bell do the things smash it click it double tap it however you do it. without further ado let's jump into a tight review y'all Today, I'm bringing you a review of the Create Originals CRS frame. It's like a ghost. It's like you've never seen it in real life, but you knew about it, you heard about it. You might have even thrown money on a Kickstarter, but you never really got a chance to see it in all its glory. And I'm bringing it to you real quick, real live, because I have done just that. Shortly after Create Originals started really promoting getting a big brand, they started working on a new and innovative product called the CRS frame. That stands for Custom Ride System. And it got a ton of buzz. It blew up on Kickstarter. People threw money down so that they could see a new type of suspension frame come onto the market and give us something we've been pining for since physics, a possible flat suspension frame. Kaisers were dope, but they weren't designed to ride flat. This, on the other hand, is the CRS. This is the second version, not the first. This is the second version. The first version was all black. I'm so happy that a few years later, maybe like four or five years later, they re-released the CRS frame from an American manufacturer so that they had more control over the production, more ability to see how production was going and test the beautiful tolerances that are necessary for this system. So if you don't know how it works, up close. See that right there? See that gap? That little black spacer in there? That creates an ability for this wheel to move up and down as I create impact with the ground. These come in different hardnesses. And for me, I use the hardest one because I'm pretty heavy, so what can I say? Finally, we had an opportunity to skate these frames with a high quality production that was thoroughly tested. And you know I did it again. I bought them right away. I'm a sucker for my homies, what can I say? They're my friends. I gotta support Blader owned. That's just what I do. So I picked these up when they dropped again on the re-release from the American manufacturer and I tried my hardest to skate them, but the axles were all wrong. It's just like a tragedy of errors though because like you wanna skate a product, you know that the company is in it for the right reasons and it's just everything's getting in your way. You can check back, I think I did a video my first season where I tried to skate them, they were rattling and I immediately took them out and swapped them in for new frames. They sat on the shelf for like two years after that because once again, brand loyalty is kind of hard and people want to skate and they're not cheap. So I didn't know what to do with them. But what I did do is I reached out to Lawrence from 5050 and Balance Distribution and I asked him if he could send me a pair of their axles because I thought you know, a universal axle might just be the ticket to fixing this problem. And lo and behold, y'all, it worked. So if you're out there and you got a pair of these Create Original CRS frames, you can't figure out what to do, you want to ride them, get some 50-50 axles, throw them in there, you will not have any problems. I have been skating these since February. It is now August. You can see I put a nice groove in there. I done skated all types of terrain in these, ramps, coping rails like dirty ledges that are gritty and made out of like marble sandpaper beautiful marble ledges even some wood benches in the witch hunting capital of the world salem massachusetts and these frames have held up through all of it i really love these frames let me tell you why hold up hold up i know i know i know i'm a homer i'm biased and you're not gonna believe me but I had come right off of the Sean Keen skates on some aluminum frames and my knees were hurting. I got in my adapts, which are lighter, threw on these CRS frames and my knees have been so happy with me ever since. I'm an old man, 43, 44 this year. Been skating for 20 plus years, aggressive and like my knees hurt. These frames are like a godsend to my knees. Rolling over rough terrain, not a problem. 
random landing that hurts a little bit that's bigger than normal not so much of a problem i even feel like sometimes i get a little bounce on the way up because i push down so hard before i jump that sometimes i think i get a little rebound and might have to jump a little less i don't know i've done gaps you see my face right y'all i'm 43 i'm not supposed to be doing gaps y'all i've done gaps in these skates with these frames because of the technology embedded inside of this urethane and its ability to absorb impact so that's the innovation the innovation is you can roll on cracks you can roll on on rough terrain like cobblestone you don't feel the shock as much because each one of your wheels is individually set up to absorb shock so yes my knees love these frames and like what would be a skate frame if you can't actually slide and grind and if it's not durable and like I said, I have been skating these since February. The groove gets so nice. It's one of those grooves that you can make yourself. Shout out to Victor Arias, JSF, because you know the homie likes to do this. Get in there and really feel that smooth groove. Yeah. Cue the central music. Uh-huh. Kenny G. Really, really smooth frame. Really good materials that you know to expect from Create Originals. Durability that you know to expect from Create Originals. My only concern is that sometimes I land on the front wheels when I come fakey or when I do like swivels or something. And this compression actually makes me feel like I'm scraping the front edge and back edge of my frame more than I usually do. Um, it is a tapered and beveled angle, so it's not as beefy as it would be on other frames already. So I think my only advice would be for Create Originals to give a little more beef Maybe even like give it a little raised edge all the way around. Keep this butt, this raised bevel around it and just hug it and bring it back. Sort of like what a wish frame does where it goes underneath and gives some extra stability right here. I would add a little beef there. But other than that, they are light despite the additional hardware. They got bounce. They got slide. I feel hella lucky because they're not even available for people to purchase. But here I am skating them filming an entire section in them and loving every minute of it. So I know you can't get yourself a pair of Create Original CRS frames right now, but if they ever do pop up, or if you see them on Blade Trade, you can use the 50-50 axle trick and get yourself engaged in some shock absorption, because trust me, you will love it. I give these frames, these frames is like literally, if like, I, you fix this little piece right here, they're 10 out of 10 in my book because of innovation and the ability to do what all other frames do. They are to be rode flat, but you can set them up to be anti rocker. You can set them up to just be rigid in the middle and have like blocks so that they're freestyle. It's actually a universal frame that you can do anything with. I've been riding 60 flat. So like a nine and a half or a 95 is like honestly easy for me to give a score for these create original CRS frames. If you can find a pair, check them out. Like I said, get the axles so they fit right. Do it, support blader owned. It's your boy, K Scott, blading on the brain with another dope review. Hope you liked it. Check me out again. Peace y'all.